everybody, it's Lo and welcome back to our channel, Lo Without Limits. Today I'm going to be talking all about clean candles. So if you want to see that, then just keep watching. If you saw my recent Drunk Elephant video, you'll know that I'm trying to switch over a lot of things for my body and skincare and just things that I'm putting on and in my body to non-toxic and cleaner products. I'm also trying to do the same for my apartment. I've already switched over a lot of my cleaning products to things that are non-toxic and a lot better for my health and for the environment. And one thing that a company recently brought to my attention is not that clean for my health are candles. I didn't realize that candles were so toxic until I was recently introduced to the concept of cleaner candles and the whole reason that your standard regular candle is toxic is because they're made out of paraffin wax. And now you're thinking like, oh, paraffin wax is stuff that you dip your hands in. Yes, sort of. So that paraffin wax is actually a cosmetic grade one that's been cleaned up a little bit and is really safe for your skin and okay to inhale, which is why you could get it every time you went and got a pedicure back when that was still a thing that you could do. But the paraffin wax that's in candles is not as clean. And paraffin wax, no matter whether it's the cosmetic grade one or in your candles, is a petroleum-based hydrocarbon, typically made up of 20 to 40 hydrocarbons, and they're also all coal and oil based so not only is it not the cleanest thing but it also comes from a non-renewable resource which is very not eco-friendly it's eco bully except the opposite of a friend is bully so paraffin wax when it's hard sit in there all pretty it's not too much of an issue again it's not eco-friendly but it's not causing any harm to you when it's just sitting there but when you light your candle which is what you'll eventually do with the candle a 2009 study found that when lit and heated up the paraffin wax will release alkenes and toluene I'm gonna have that written right here because I do think I mispronounced that. And both of those can be harmful to humans. They say that the small particles of the alkene and toluene that the candle emits and the paraffin wax emits can get deep into your lungs and cause asthma, allergies, and even lead to lung cancer. So of course, a lot of other lifestyle factors contribute to all of those things and where you live and just your air quality in general. But that's just some effects and adding on to problems that you don't need to do, especially if you're someone who has a candle lit like every single day. Like my boyfriend, he loves his candles. And now knowing that, I'm like, okay, might be, might be too many things going on in the air here, especially when it's just a standard candle made from paraffin wax. On top of the toxins that paraffin wax emits when lit up, a lot of candles are also made with synthetic fragrances, which when lit up in the air can also lead to more allergies and just breathing issues down the road especially since candles unlike cosmetics and unlike food and other things don't have ingredients listed on them you can't really easily find what exactly is in your candle because it doesn't have to be listed since it's just a home product but the fragrances and a lot of them being non-natural as well that also is just more chemicals that are being released into the air that you're breathing in when you think that you're having a nice little moment with a nice lit candle so recently i was sent some candles from the company objects with purpose and they're all handcrafted and these are actually made with a coconut wax once i was sent those and did more research on the paraffin wax and the fragrances i really really wanted to put this to the test so i have a dyson an air purifier i wish i had a dyson vacuum maybe i'll ask for that for christmas like a very adult thing oh i want a vacuum for christmas i have a dyson air purifier which will read the overall air quality as well as the 2.5 size particle mat meter <laughs> the 2.5 size particle matter which is the smallest particles that can get deep deep in your lungs into like the tiniest little parts of your lungs it's like nanometers or something i'll also have that right here basically the smallest particles that can be found in the air and it also reads the particle matters that are 10 so four times that size but still very tiny which can also get into your lungs just not as deep as the 2.5 ones it also reads nitrous oxide and voc which is volatile organic compounds so nitrous oxide is something that's mostly from cars so a lot of like that air pollution that you can see more of and the particle matter size 10 i can't say matter when accumulated is what you see as smog whereas the 2.5 is so thin that you don't even see it yet it does exist in your normal environment so my dyson will read all of those things as time goes and I actually have the Dyson app too so at any moment I can go onto my app and see exactly what my Dyson is reading so here this part is orange because the air quality outside of where I am is moderate it's at a 61 and then this little green box here is my apartment 
and when I tap on it, I can see the overall air quality and then my average air quality. Particle matter 2.5, particle matter 10, volatile organic compounds, nitrous oxide, and then also like temperature, humidity, things like that. So I can get all of that real-time reading on my phone from my air purifier and it will tell me, hey, it's getting smoky in here. If I make something on my stove and don't turn on the fan right away, it will shoot up, especially with my old pans that were just so bad and everything would just smoke and burn on them. My air purifier would just be like extremely severe. But now I have new pans, so now it's, it's chilling. So I decided to put this candle as well as a bunch of other ones that I have to the test using my air purifier. What I did is I would get screenshots of the air quality, the particle matter 2.5, 10, NO2, VOC, all that before lighting the candle. I'd have it lit for about two hours and then I would get the reading of it afterwards. So I'm going to compare all of the readings of all my candles, including this one, to see if this one really is cleaner. So I'm gonna start off this comparison with the candle that you at least have one, or at least have had one in your life, and that is a Bath & Body Works candle. We've all had a Bath & Body Works candle. They're always on sale, they always smell good. The holiday ones are probably the best candles, but they are made from paraffin wax. They also said that some of them are made from a vegetable wax or a soy wax, but for the most part, they are a paraffin wax, at least from what I found online. Again, since it's a candle, you can't really just find the ingredients anywhere like you would for a cosmetic product. But from what I found, paraffin wax, let's go over the overall results from my air purifier. So for this one, before I lit it, my air quality was good. The particle matter 2.5 was at a one. The particle matter 10 was also at a one. Afterwards, air quality was fair, which is one level above good. My particle matter 2.5 was 54, so that went up by 53. My particle matter 10 was 38, so that went up by 37. And then the VOC and NO2 were still good. I think that's mostly from like car emissions and things like that, but the particle matter is what would be released when the candle is lit up. So that did jump up quite a bit. The next candle that I put to the test was this vanilla snowflake one. It is a white barn scented candle. I think White Barn's the company. Yes, I took it from my mom. She had so many candles and I was like, here, just take some. So the company is White Barn. The scent is Vanilla Snowflake and it says that it's made with essential oils, which is better than a synthetic fragrance. So already some points for this guy here. Again, my air quality before lighting it was good. My particle matter 2.5 was at a three. Particle matter 10 was at a two after two hours of lighting this one. Air quality was still good. Particle matter 2.5 was still a three. Particle matter 10 was at two and then VOC and NO2 were still good. So this candle from White Barn didn't have any changes on my air purifier and that is because it is a soy wax candle again with essential oils. So it is much cleaner than paraffin wax and it just doesn't release all the toxic chemicals that paraffin wax in your typical candle would. So the next one that I tested was Sand and Fog. This one I also stole from my mom and it says that it's a soy wax blend. So obviously there is soy wax in there similar to the White Barn one, but I couldn't find anywhere online what the other part of that blend is. When I went to that company's fact page, it says that they use 100% soy wax and essential oils and everything, but since this one said a blend, I was like, okay, but what's the blend? So I couldn't figure that out, and of course, no ingredients because it's a candle, but when I lit it, my air quality started off good with particle matter 2.5 and particle matter 10, both at four, and after two hours of this one burning, my air quality was still good. My particle matter 2.5 was still at a four. My particle matter 10 was actually at a three, so not 100% sure what the blend is in here. It might be a vegetable wax because had it been a paraffin wax, it would have gone up more similar to my Bath & Body Works candle. So while this one's a blend, I'm just unsure about what is in that blend. But it was, it didn't come up bad on my air purifier at all, so I don't think it is a paraffin wax for this specific candle from Sand & Fog. <sighs> the next candle that I tested, this candle, a couple years ago, I went to London and I went to Sketch with my mom and my sister and it smelled so good in Sketch. And then I looked at photos that I took, because I'm like, their bathroom's so cool. And I took some photos in there, and then afterwards, I saw very small on the steps that every few steps had a candle on it. And I was like, well, that's why it smells so good, even in the bathroom. The whole place smells so good. So I zoomed in real, real close on the photo, 
and realized that it is a diptyque candle with the scent Chiosa. Chiosa? Chi, chi. It's like an orange blossom or something. So I wanted that candle so bad. Was I gonna spend $80 on a candle, a small candle for myself? No. So finally, this last year for Christmas, on my list was this candle and I got it because I didn't have to pay for it. And I was so, so, so excited. Absolutely love how it smells. It's just, I wanted it for so long. I was so excited for this candle. So it is made of paraffin wax. My air quality started off good. Particle matter 2.5, started off at a one. Particle matter 10, started off at one. My air quality after burning it. Extremely poor, extremely poor. Not poor, extremely poor. Particle matter 2.5, 129. Particle matter 10, also started off at a one, jumped up to 16, so that's up by 15. 129 of the particle matter 2.5, that's up 128. That is extremely poor. That is like beyond red, that was purple. That was pushing purple. That was like a deep violet. Particle matter 2.5 gets deep in your lungs. It is not good for you. You can even tell that it kind of, from the smoke of it, just got black around, which none of my other I guess this one kind of did too. So both of these ones, which are made of paraffin wax, also just got black around the edges after you burn them. I just like this candle so much. And it's so bad, it's so bad. Uh, because I just wanna be like that person that has like the candles and they're all cute and they're all diptyque. Ugh. If you wanna breathe and live a long, healthy life and also save $80, don't get this. And last but not least, once I cried for a little bit after my diptyque candle you know, tried to kill me. I did the objects with purpose. So my air quality started off good. My particle matter, 2.5, started at one. Particle matter 10 started at one. And after burning it, still good air quality. My particle matter 2.5 did go up to three. And then my particle matter 10 did go up to two. A little bit of a change, but definitely better than the two paraffin wax ones, the Diptyque and the Bath and Body Works. But what makes it different from the Sand and Fog and the White Barn ones, which were also pretty good in terms of air quality from what my air purifier picked up, is that those two are a soy wax or soy wax blend. Still not sure what that other half is. This one is derived from coconut, so it's even cleaner, and I think that's even better than soy wax. And it's so clean, and the fragrances used in it are so natural that when it's melted, you can use it on your body. They literally say online, and she says, not only is it a candle, but when warmed up because coconut wax does have a lower smoke point, just like coconut oil if you warm it up in your hands, because it can warm up in your hands and you just rub it on a little bit and it's so clean and natural and hydrating since it's from coconut, that you can literally use it on your body as a body oil. So this candle doubles as one, a clean candle that smells good, and two, something that's good for your body. And I think that's a really good test if something should be in your home. Like if you can put it on your body and not be harming yourself and be putting straight chemicals on your body, then it's clearly a really, really good product. The candles from Objects With Purpose are also made here in California, which I absolutely love because it's more sustainable and also local, and I love supporting and shopping from local and small businesses. So I think this being not only clean, similar to the soy wax ones, but also being clean enough to literally put on your body is such a good product and definitely going forward with everything in my apartment, including candles, which I'm sure you'll buy a candle at some point again soon, buying something clean and something that won't make your air dirty to breathe when you're supposed to be in your home, that's like a safe environment and you're in here, especially having been in quarantine, you're in here all the time. You don't wanna be stuck inside where you're breathing bad air. So definitely having something that's a good, good, good product like this, I think is so important. And I absolutely love this candle and the company as well. And if you wanna try this candle or any of their other candles for yourself, I do have a discount code, it's LOW10, so you can get 10% off of your order. So they have these bigger ones. They also have other sizes if you don't wanna to commit to a big one or if you wanna get some as a gift. So here are the smaller ones. The wicks are also eco-friendly, which I absolutely love. So this one is Asher, it's a fig sage scent. Mm, also very good. They also have really small ones, which are really good for a gift, and I'm actually giving them to my boyfriend's mom when I visit her this week that I'm uploading this video. So there's this tiny one, Dahlia, which is rose, and lychee, I can never say that word, lychee, is that right, lychee? This one, which is Joy, which is Plumera, 
Ooh. Ooh, I really like that one. And then this one is Gifted, which is white tea, fig, and tobacco. Mmm. That's like a sweet, sweet tobacco. Sometimes I feel like things that are too tobacco-y are just like not my vibe, but that one's really good. So again, there are the different sizes as well as different scents from Objects With Purpose, and you can find a link to the store down below in my description box, as well as the code LOW10, which you can get 10% off of your order. And let me know what you think if you order them. Again, sustainable, local, good for you and good for your body. Like I think this out of all the candles is definitely the best one. Of course, the other two did also have really good ratings from my air purifier, but I mean, something that you can put on your body, how can you beat that? It's a twofer, truly. Well, there you have it for my clean candle review. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below what clean products that you like to use and what you wanna see more of on my channel. And while you're there, be sure to subscribe. I upload a new video every Wednesday. So until the next one, thanks for watching.